Hi. So we are here today in the mini sustainability workshop, and I want to introduce you to an energy project that I've kind of been tinkering with. So the idea of this is to have some kind of energy storage solution that can be pretty much built by any DIY person at home using pretty common parts. Uh, you can use scrap parts, you can use uh, ready-made things like this. Uh, but the idea is you can do it yourself and you can maintain it yourself. So if you're storing your energy in like a lithium ion battery, for example, after a certain number of charge cycles, the battery goes bad, right? And you can't fix that at home. It's not really maintainable. So you're kind of out of luck. So the idea is that, of this is that you can maintain it yourself. If something goes wrong, it's all really straightforward mechanical parts. Okay, so what this is, it's a flywheel battery. So instead of like the lithium ion battery where you store chemical energy, this is actually kinetic energy. So what you have here is the shaft. It's got a heavy weight on it. That's the flywheel. And this spins around at a really high speed. And so it's storing all the energy in the speed of that disc. So it's kinetic energy storage. So there's no complicated chemicals or anything. And if this thing wears out or it breaks, you can just replace or repair the parts yourself. So let me just walk you through where we're at right now. Uh, we've got a basic frame set up that's adjustable back and forth along this axis. So you can use these flywheels I have here, or you can actually use standard weightlifting plates. Weightlifting plates are a one inch diameter hole, which will match this one inch shaft. Uh, but they're not machined to that great of tolerance and they're a little bit wider than one inch because they want to slip on and off easily. Uh, so you have to shim them if you're going to use them. And you probably also want to do a little bit of machining to make sure they're going to be well balanced and they're not going to wobble. Uh, which brings me to another point, which is this thing is spinning so fast. This thing is spinning so fast that if something goes wrong, it's wobbling a little bit. It can go wrong really badly, so we have to really keep it stable. Uh, if this thing comes off its axis and starts banging into stuff, it can start flying and rolling all over the place and you can get injured. Uh, so safety is something we're dealing with here. And it's particularly kind of interesting because this uses magnetic bearings. So this doesn't use ball bearing rollers. It's going to use a large magnetic thrust bearing down here and two radial bearings here and here keep this axis aligned and to support the weight. So this is actually levitating a little bit in the air. It's not engaging with any physical other part, right? And the idea behind that is that basically you don't have very much friction at all. So this is just, it's spinning very quickly and you can leave it spinning overnight and it's not going to lose very much energy at all. If you're really serious about this, you would put an enclosure around this and then you'd use a vacuum pump and you would actually remove all the air from in here. So you're gonna have something that's almost perpetual motion. It's just gonna keep spinning, spinning forever and ever. But I don't think we're gonna get that serious. We're just trying to keep it simple. Okay, so let me cover some, let me cover one of the other challenges I've been dealing with this. These, these flywheels are actually automotive parts. So these are brake rotors which is really nice because they're machined all flat and round, and they're already made to spin at a really high RPM without being off balance or wobbling a lot, which is really convenient. Uh, but the trouble is, these are standard hardware bolts from the hardware store, but they don't bolt in nicely with the automotive parts. You can see there's a little bit of free play there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go in and hopefully get bolts that actually thread through these parts, because you don't want this wobbling around like that, right? Because if this gets off balance, again, there's a safety issue. So you really want this secure. Another thing you can do is you can use balancing weights. So I'm gonna look at that uh, when we get this thing spinning and testing it. And we might have to put some weights on here to keep this balanced and keep it from spinning out of control. Another consideration is the strength of the materials involved. Uh, so we have this, which is cast iron, and then we have marine grade plywood here. So the plywood is probably going to be our limiting factor. As this thing starts to spin up, you get 
uh, centripetal forces on all of these parts. So the tensile strength of these materials is a concern. If you spin too fast, this is going to get forced outward in this direction, right? And so you can actually have little pieces breaking off and flying around. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to want to come in here and trim this down so it's a nice round corner, which is A, a little bit stronger, and B, it's got a smaller radius. So the forces on it are going to be smaller, and we're not as worried about that breaking down. But the cast iron, I've done the math on that, and that's going to be okay as far as our RPMs are concerned. But the primary concern, again, is keeping this thing stable. And for that, we have a wide range of these. Oops. We have a bunch of these neodymium magnets. And these little guys are going to sit in a radius around the shaft for that radial bearing, and they're going to keep the shaft stable straight up and down as it's spinning. So the idea of this project is to have a straightforward and simple home energy storage solution that is sustainable and that almost anybody can do it with pretty basic tools and that anybody can maintain at home as it wears down. So you don't have to go and take a battery through an industrial recycling process uh, and then spend the cash to get a brand new one. So I hope you guys find this interesting. I'm going to do more videos to follow up. Uh, we'll get this on its axis and we'll show it spinning around and we'll play around with some DC motors and maybe some solar panels to see if we can make this thing work. So again, the idea of this project is to have a simple, small scale... Jameson!